Ben Mayer, oh my gosh, Ben Mayer's slowing down. Oh slowing my down. That's cool. Striving for perfection, girl, I'm in a different mind state. Knew the game was set up like I'm going on a blind day. Even with a sour taste, they sipping on some lime, mate. Steady pocket watch. Just saw your leaders be able to work their way through Tom Sheehan and here at this point Jake Drew, Rafa Matos, Connor Mozak and Ben Mayer are now all clear but a little bit of a check up there for Thomas Merrill potentially as they come onto the front straight away. Merrill's now been able to get clear that's going to buy him wow. even more time between himself and Josh Hurley and look at that Mayer uh, that's Merrill kind of poking out a line there I'm not sure if that was to get into the head there of Ben wow. Mayer or if that was maybe just get a little bit of clean air on the car. Someone of Thomas's experience certainly knows he's got a 15-year-old in front of him, and, and, and through that, you might get a little bit of vulnerability out of him. But at the same time, what I've learned about racing around these youngsters is they are super brave. They are super brave, and, and the consequences they have on the simulator is a reset button. So, um, so you know, it becomes very real out here, but they all race so good and clean and powerful, and it's just so fun to watch them come up through the ranks, and, and, and this has been that launching pad, the TA2 series, it's because of the talents that you have out there. You have to beat a Rafa Matos, you have to beat a Thomas Merrill, you have to beat Mike Skeen when he's here, you have to beat these drivers that are out there doing it, that have been doing it for a long time, making their living, feeding their families with this sport and with that talent that they have. You've done something. You've done something impressive, and the motorsports world notices. The motorsports world knows how good Rafa Matos is. They know how good Thomas Merrill is. So when you beat them, yeah, they're going to try and hire you. Yeah. machine so that is going to be him a lot down but here comes a little bit of a look from Ben Mayer is he going to go for it no thinks better of it going down in a cute three turn one. Oh, but Jake Jake Drew's eyes got real big in that rear view <laughs> here right then and uh and but yeah that was that was some really good late breaking on, on both of them and, and good driving on both too because uh for Ben Mayer 
that's not the time to go ahead and stick the nose up in there and um, and he knew it and that was a move kind of wise beyond his years there so but I, that what that also shows me is Ben's got a little bit of pace and Ben knows he's got some pace and he wants to make this pass on Jake Drew so he can go after his teammate Rafa Ben Mayer, oh my gosh, Ben Mayer is slowing down, slowing oh down. Goodness. Ben he Mayer is. is slowing down. I don't know if that could have been fuel. Uh, he could have brought, I mean, that's just, what a shame for the kid. Oh. Oh. And I was just getting ready to give the credit from Tyler Casera, because Tyler Casera coaching that young man and, and having the, the race of his career, and oh, I'm just gutted for you. I'm gutted for you, buddy. That is that is such a shame, as we see Boris Head Jr. leaving pit road, so. He's had himself an issue here today, folks. If I can get any kind of information on what happened there, you know we'll be certain to share it with you, DJ or myself. The TA2 series, I'm so glad that they brought him in. So Ben Mayer, come here, Thomas, YouTube. Thomas, one of the veterans in here, and we were talking about the young guns. Well, this time, I was so proud of Ben Mayer. What a fight out there, keeping this champion behind you the whole race and then just heartbreak at the white flag. Yeah, me and my crew chief have really been working hard on this car to get it to go fast all weekend and it showed and we were running up front and bad things happen sometimes and we just broke on the last lap so hopefully we can run up front next time and that doesn't happen but he was right on me the whole time and I was just I, I wasn't I was pretty nervous just to have him behind me but I was excited with how I performed well hey Thomas Let's talk about this 15-year-old and the talent that's out there on the track, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was a hard race for us there, coming back from 10th, but really proud of the crew for uh, working hard last night and getting this thing back in, in good working order. But what can you say about Ben? This kid's come so far in such a short period of time. Um, it was a pleasure watching him drive. He, he drove he drove like a seasoned vet, so um, I was really actually sad to see him have that issue on the last lap. I think mean, he deserves better, but he'll be there again later this season, no doubt about it. And this Now, ladies and gentlemen, this 15-year-old, was fighting off some seasoned veterans in the Cube 3 Architecture TA2 Series. And our Omo Legato fastest lap goes to the number 80. Let's hear it, Ben Mayer, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Mayer, man, so proud of you. What a performance out there. I know it's not the finish that you wanted, but man, that's got to feel good. Oh, uh, yeah, my car has been great this weekend. I like to thank Brad Parrott. It's really like... This is my first time up here, so I'm super excited, and my car was so fast. He worked on it all night, and same with the Nitro crew and my crew, so it was really, really good weekend for me. I'm happy with how my car was. I'd like to thank BOE Marine, Simrad Ride, for helping get me here, and I think I can have some pretty good results in the future. Of course you can, because in my opinion, you kept one of the fastest TA2 drivers in history, a former champion, Thomas Merrill, behind you pretty easily the whole time. So nice job. Let's hear it for Ben Mayer. Ladies and gentlemen, he is going to be on the podium with us again here in the future. Congratulations.